is Michael slash Faye Tess. Yeah. Who may be kind of muting himself fairly quickly. Tess? Yeah, it's a thing that happens. Don't worry about it too much. Yep. And so, uh, first things first, we're going to, I'm going to show off a bit of the stuff that I've been grinding off of, because A, it's kind of a secret boss, but at the same time, it's not that hard. So, uh, there's two ways of doing this, and as you can see, uh, if I go back to the system and then go to uh, load. Now, can we see? Uh, I'm doing the load, but I'm going to you... back out of it uh, fairly quickly. Once oh, I'm just saying, I, wa I wanted to verify that we can, in fact, see. Yeah. The lessons of a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> yes, we can see. So, okay. uh, I basically took the team that was at the uh, bottom of uh, Glovely Gable, this save slot, brought them out, and after a few sessions, they've gone up a few levels. It is... Mm -hmm. uh, and just to show off a bit, um, Ashley has six uh, personal skill points. So does Tim, Marvel, Brad, Vilka has seven, and Cannon has six. Nice. So, so we can go do some beefing up. Yes. Do you want uh, do you want to do it after I show you the grinding method or before? Let's do after, just in case we get anything good. Uh, another level out of the grinding method. Yeah. So, considering that I actually had to go grab a few extra lucky cards for this method, but I do still have a few on hand. So, where we want to go is actually, we, t uh, we want to teleport to uh, the Selji region. Okay. And then teleport to... The Hovercraft. Oh, yeah. hey, we haven't visited in a while. It's been left alone for so long, it might be full of eels. <laughs> now, there are technically two ways to get this boss. I'm doing the slightly easier method, because the enemy that we need uh, shows up a lot more often as to where we're going. But I can mention the other one, which is actually an Ashley's dungeon. Oh. So, technically, you can fight this thing as soon as Tim gets his force ability divide. So that... See, I've been asking for ages what that does. It has the enemy's level. In, in, if the enemy is alone, it will force them to downgrade to a different enemy but it sounds like in some cases that downgrade is actually a secret upgrade well uh in this case i'll bring up the album and show off the monster that we're uh that is ashley's one which is mm -hmm. uh the gagason uh which is a level two enemy uh divide would actually put it into a level one enemy so it basically uh -huh. Um, and we'll get this, basically, boss monster. But, uh, on this island, there is an enemy that we're looking for. It is not him. Fuck the Ariok. Uh, wow, that's, that's pretty violent. So, no, this guy can die in a fire. Um, no, he's just annoying because he just casts disease. Oh, and we don't like that. No, we don't. And after watching a few other people's videos of Wild Arms, I'm kind of pissed at ourselves because, yeah, we kind of hamstrung a little bit. Because, mm -hmm. uh... If we had done HP up in the early levels... We have a ton more HP now. 
Uh, Ashley would have had about 6,000. And Tim would have had more than, uh, for us, would have probably had more than about uh, 4,500. So, yeah. I feel we kind of hamstrung ourselves. So maybe the guide wasn't completely full of shit. Yeah. Ah! We got him, uh, we got the enemy that we need right off the bat. Excellent. And that is Balam. So... Garden? Uh, not garden, but... Eh. I'm actually gonna do some weird shenanigans I saw somebody else do. That sounds about right. So, Ashley is going to get the power boost for weird reasons, but... Yeah. Uh, Tim's gonna get Zephyr for a brief moment. Oh wow, I actually got it. Uh, this guy without having anything. Ashley's gonna... Uh, actually, Ashley will toss the lucky card right now. Tim is going to force charge, and good old Marvel is going to start doing status lock on everybody. Nice. I will explain the whole purpose of status locking right now. Uh, doing it right now. This enemy is notoriously evil. For reasons, and we have talked about it a little bit being the equivalent of... Well... A Marlboro? Only... Not that... Uh... Uh... Not, not that... that easy to defeat. So... Oh. Oh, that is not a good combination of words. Yeah. That is a bad combination of words. So we're talking like a Marlboro Terra. We're, we're basically talking like if somebody decided to put, uh, make Marlboro a secret boss. Oh, so Doom Train. Yeah, Doom Train would probably be the equivalent, yes. I keep forgetting about Doom Train because it appeared in the worst one. I mean, we are in agreement, yes. Okay, this... this bitch. And yes, feel free to both quote and at me. 8 is the worst game in the series. No, 8 is the worst uh, main series numbered game in the series. So... Uh, I have to take back what I said before. 8 is actually better than, uh, than Mystic Quest. It does have some merits. Yeah, exactly. That's why it's better than Mystic Quest, because Mystic Quest had literally zero merit. So, I, I said certain abilities aren't that good. Divide is one of them. Mm -hmm. Except in two instances. And this is one of them. If you divide a Gagasin or a Balam, you get the Hill Konton. Which, in later ones, they go with the much more direct translation, which is Creeping Chaos. Ooh. That sounds particularly fun and exciting. Oh, these boys are just the funnest boys. They're the most charming boys? They're the most charming boys. Delightful. So, Tim's going to basically be spent, uh, like, healing everybody up, and Ashley's of course, going to do his normal boss strategy. And you've already locked, right? Yep. Everybody's okay, locked. Okay, so you already locked. Nobody has to worry about uh, multi-status. Yeah. Uh, human experimentation uh, just does heavy damage. But he hasn't done the... Oh, hey, we have Gunblaze. Nice. And... Nice. I am doing Defense Down because Defense Down actually does some decent good boosts for Ashley on this. I mean, that does make sense. Uh, Ashley is a physical attacker. Something mm -hmm. with a lot of defense, Defense Down would make them 
much more susceptible to him. Yeah. Okay, 800. Did the math, it checks out. Yep. I'm gonna do Mad Lucy just to see it. First aid. Uh, still doing defense down. See how much damage we do with Mad Lucy. Okay, gun. Uh, man, he is not doing his fun stuff. He is just doing human experimentation on it. Poor Ashley. So, Gun Blaze is still much better. And. Usually it takes about four defense downs to max out how much uh, defense he's lost. And the fun bit is Marvel's defense down is all defense. That's both physical and magic. Physical and magical. Nice. Yep. That's the best kind of defense down. Yes. Just so. completely peel back the, uh, the only thing... The only thing that would make that better is if it also was parry down. Yeah. That's actually uh, Tim with his speed down. Mm hmm. But. Eh, nah. We have Tim smack it. Uh, as for. Uh, Maravel. Erg Phaser. is currently probably the best option for her. Is that unaspected or light? Unaspected. It is... Erg Phaser um, is... Uh... Non-elemental magic attack. Nice. And... Admittedly, it still has that weird tied to HP bullshit. What do you mean? Uh, she actually does more damage when she has max HP than when she has less. Oh, okay, okay. So it's it's got the um, the Final Fantasy VI ultimate weapon effect. Yeah. I can respect that. That's cool. Oh, hey, sixteen thousand. Ashley, my man. Excuse you, my man. I mean, what? <laughs> okay, he still hasn't done the attack, and I really hope he does it, because... Actually, did he do Arc NCL? I apologize, I did not see if he did. Okay. Just gonna be honest with you, I did not see that. Okay. Well, he's dead. But he basically drops uh, with a uh, his base stuff is thirty thousand exp and five uh, fifty thousand uh, jello. Nice. So, Gellicardian M gets us 60,000 and 100,000 Gella. I'm sorry, Gellicarding? Uh, Lucky Carding? Lucky Carding. We're not in three yet. We're not in yet. three yet, no. But that's basically a level of pop. For, uh, or at least a level at this moment every other turn. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he is... And the other factor is that because I kind of grind it, uh, ground him out a bit, mm -hmm. I'm just getting down to where I can show him off a bit. Uh, Hyon Konton, is he drops duplicators. 
Ooh. And you can steal Gimmel coins from him. I mean, yes, but also, I don't want us to have to use the Gilmore coins. <laughs> yeah. So, we I probably now have enough uh, duplicators to clean out our... Uh, just to make sure. We have four duplicators. We should have enough duplicators to clean out uh, Pirate's Bay. Uh, not Pirates Bay, um, Pirates Warren. God, why did I call it Pirates Bay? A little bit too uh, much yarn. Were you quarantining things? Not recently. Mm hmm. But because they dropped duplicators, we can go. Uh, if you didn't pick up all of them. Or you actually got all the duplicators uh, available in the game from chests. So we got the talisman. Elven boots, which that's number three. Is that... is that three? That's three. <laughs> Sorry about that. It's okay. Oh no, I wasn't apologizing to you, I was apologizing to them. Yeah. Kid Gloves... That's the second, or... Is that the second pair of Kid Gloves, I think? I think that's our first. And Elven Cloak. So, we've now got everything here. Unless we didn't use one in the back room. Which, I doubt, because... I feel like we did. We should double check, but I feel like we did get the back room. As soon as you said that, I had already gone and checked. Yes, we have cleaned out the Pirate's Warren. That's the end game grinding for him. The reason why you go to that tiny little island is that the Balams show up a lot more often there than <laughs> uh, than the Gagasons do in the fir in Ashley's first dungeon because the Gagason is actually the rare monster in Ashley's dungeon. Ah. Uh. So, just so we can share a few things, let's take a look at our two newest items, the Kid Gloves. Which, the Kid Gloves got replaced by the Gauntlet. Uh, the Elven Cloak extends the Cancel Period, aka the little tiny white or green bubble above our heads. So, do we want to try and deal with our good boy Ragu first, or do we want to try and do Angle Moa? Uh, I mean, if we're gonna do them, we need to do. Well, if we're gonna do them, we need to do a stat buy up first. Yep. Well, first things first, I'm going to redo a cap because I just noticed that I used one. So. Redoing a uh, high revive cap. And double checking everybody's weapons, because I think I might have used the Didora live on Ashley, even though we're not going to be using that. Yeah, I used a bullet somewhere. Okay, let's do let's do the stat up before going to an inn and resting with our teddy bear. So we oh, actually, if I think about it, Tim could probably level up in a fight. Yeah, Tim could level up in a fight. That's good. 
Yeah. Uh, do we want just to find some place and then have Tim basically go, okay, I'm good now, before... Yeah, let's, let's do that, because we want as many stat points as possible. Yes. We need to get some defenses up. And probably the best way is going to our hovercraft. And then equipping poor old Marvel with the odd sandals. <laughs> the reason why I put on the odd sandals is it just increases the chance of a fight. Because we no longer have a spell that just increases fights. And Ashley's going to do Napalm Hit. This should get at least a uh, Tim up. Yep. Tim's now 65. Nice. And then back to uh, Maria Bull. Or the town of Maria. And no, we are not going to be doing the final boss fight again. No, you've already seen it. Good luck. We already kind of stomped him into the ground. So, with these personal skills, seven except for poor old Cannon who only has six for everybody. So, uh, P defend for everybody? Yes. P defend and then sit. Uh, unless there's like, if someone caps P defend, we can look at what else. But otherwise, P defend and then sit. Okay, uh, Ashley's got capped P defend. How much you got left? Three. Ooh, M defend. M defend it is. Okay. Tim has maxed P defend. Okay, what about M defend? None, but we also have M attack that we could also max out too. Uh, yeah, give him M attack. All right. Uh, Marvel, P defend, but not capped. Okay. Sit. Sit. Brad. Uh, P defend and sit. Lilka. Yeah, yep. P defend. Maxed out. M defend. M defend. Yes. And uh, sit. Cannon. P defend. And sit. Yep. So everybody is maxed out on P defend. Except for poor Cannon. We inch closer to being able to handle it. Yes. And yes, I have looked at probably the guide that Michael's been using. Yeah, we kind of kind of screwed the pooch a little bit. But, to be honest, like, for a casual playthrough, the auto-regen health is actually better for you. Because... I mean, it's true, we did not come into this with the intents of being a level 10 clear all best, uh, best boy run. Yeah. We came in here just to think about, uh, to just show off the game. We intended to derp about, have fun, and maybe learn a few things along the way. Yeah. And find out that the real XP we learned were the friends we gained along the way. That and freaking defeating almost every circuit boss except for two. 
Yeah. But then Which again, is pretty impressive for a for a casual run. Yeah. So equip Marvel with her normal Nep uh, Necrocon uh, Necronomicon. Sad to say, I am going to be blipping out every single fight I see here because we don't need to do that. These enemies are way too low level. And way too XP worthless? Yes. Um. And if somebody. So goes, basically, skipping them like this is a kindness. Skipping them is a kindness and a just. Sorry, I don't want to extend this out as much as possible. I actually want, even if we don't do uh, that well with uh, Ragu, uh, we can at least pop back out and then show off Angle Moa and go, oh. Now, it'd be oh, fun. Oh, this is actually even harder and nastier. Oops. It'd be funny if we actually beat Angle Moa first. <laughs> And it's it like, would be... I, I feel like that would be impossible. I feel like that shouldn't be possible for us to do. True. It's one of those things of, like, in order for me to basically do the best we could, I'd probably need to get these characters all the way up to 80. Yeah, in order to, 80, 85. 80, 85, in order to correct the quotations damage done to my care uh, that i did to my characters i mean you didn't act alone no you you gave me the reins for a good chunk of that and for well or ill i i did help make a lot of decisions i don't think i went the right way i mean probably not but again you you gave me some of the choice yeah no i'm talking about i like actually in the mind yeah i know i was making a joke <laughs> what am I no longer permitted jokes on this stream? Are we too serious here for that? No jokes! Well, then I'm definitely in the wrong place. Alright. Well, here we are. Marvel, scream your heart out. Death metal songs. They're probably actually Ooh. better for you than what you're trying to sing. Alright. Uh, do you have the... the the quotations guide up I do not but I can in a short bit yep. let me so, go ahead and pull it up I remember it was turn one try and sleep uh, make sure you have fire rings equipped uh, and then if he doesn't sleep then turn two make sure you have dark rings equipped that part I remember off the bat And I'm going to change my recommendation for party members based on the guide. Because yeah. I know that the guide said go a different route than what we did. And I was kind of struggling going, um, well, it says to do this with this person, but we don't have that person, so let's do this instead. Okay, so what's the person that they need? Well, give me a second. I'm still working on it. Jeez. Jeez. Sorry, my phone is being a little bit, um, it's having a case of the Fridays, <laughs> shall we say. Uh, Jeebus! Stop it. Strip. Where are you? What? Wart? What in the name of sanity? Bone, what are you doing? 
Kids, animals, scratch, and color too. Amazing and educational game for kids, boys, girls, and preschool. That is the longest game title I've ever seen in my life. It's literally about uh, 60 words long. How the f is that an actual game? I don't know. Well, it's an iOS, so it's not. It's probably not an actual game. Oh. It's probably something a parent it's would the buy. It's sort of thing. Offhand. Exactly. For a kid to just, you know, sit and do this. That and they were early pioneers of SEO, clearly, because Jeebus, they hit all the SEO markers. It looks the thing the the name of the game looks like a freaking wish description. Good God. Or like uh, you know how you um, sorry I'm still working on pulling up the guide so I'm just trying to fill the the, the space. The void. Uh, you know how like you search something on Google and you end up on page two and the page you find is actually bullshit but then at the very bottom of the meta text it's got like a thousand different highly searched words. Yeah. Yeah, it look the title looks like one of those. Jesus. All right, Gatlord. No, I don't need Gatlord. Zavord. No, I don't need Zavord. Zyklus. No, I don't need Zyklus and other. Um, I think this is the one. No, that's Xenon. War uh, uh, warrior of the twenty second century or whatever. <laughs> Uh, ah, here we go. Ragu, a jar of pasta sauce. Got it. Pasta sauce. Got it. Okay. And we definitely want to win because we want that star. Oh, yeah. Okay. Three dark rings, three fire rings. We definitely have that. Remember that Ragu always won trillions on first turn. Always second on uh, Black Nova second turn if he's awake. And then RN Jesus. Okay. Uh. So... Where is, uh, when you're ready, start the battle with Ashley, Tim, and Marvel. That's who we have, actually. Perfect. Uh, turn one, equip fire rings on everyone. Ragu okay. will use a one trillion here. Everyone should survive it. Um, the recommendation is Ashley uses a slow down crust cap, but we use oh. high revive caps. That's why we fucked up. So, um, hmm. That's we can where try we... without it. Okay. Ashley, force charge. T uh, what was Tim's option? Tim should immediately start first aid spamming. First aid. And Maravel should attempt sleep. Sloop! Ashley should end up at 100 FP at the end of this turn. Tim should get everyone to full or near full. And let's hope sleep hit, because if, if not, we definitely need it to hit in turn two. Okay. Uh, right. Actually, Tim survived this time. Excellent. I'm great. That is a very good sign of progress. That's also a good sign. Uh, missed. Okay. So, once the turn resolves and we're into turn two uh, planning, let me know. Okay, we're in turn two. Okay. So, turn two. Ragu will use Black Nova this turn. Uh, since Marvel's uh, sleep spell failed to connect, we need to equip Dark Rings on Tim and Marvel. It recommends leaving Fire Ring on Ashley. Okay. Um, Ashley should Mega Berry. Tim should first aid. Marvel should attempt sleep a second time. Okay. Uh, given the fact that they're actually 90% filled, I will still leave the Fire Ring on uh, Ashley. I will swap over to the Dark Rings on Tim and Marvel. Uh huh. Uh. Should I still Mega Berry Ashley? That is the recommendation. Okay. I think that by virtue of not sw switching to Dark Ring, Ashley is in danger of hitting Ultra Critical. Okay. Uh, sleep? Again? Sleep. Yes. Black Nova. Uh, Ashley dead. Okay, so we don't have enough HP to follow this strategy. Or uh, not enough M defend, one of the two. 
Oh, guess who's asleep? Yeah, it worked? It worked. Excellent. So, strategy now. Uh, revive Ashley. Okay, um, yeah, we need Ashley back up, and we need to get him, uh, back to 100. Okay, uh, do I want to slap something instead of the fire ring, or just leave that on there? Uh, let me get up to what happens now that it hit. Um... Turn three, if he's still asleep, great. Uh, we need Ashley to get Ashley up so that he can access. Um, we can bring in, potentially bring in Cannon for, uh, and get her FP up so that she can start Eagle Climb mm -hmm. or, you know, whatever we need to do. Um, If Luck's on your side, he'll stay asleep for several turns. Okay. So basically, the intention, the intent here, um, if he wakes up, we need to switch um, Arvel back in and try to sleep him again, and hope that it can that it hits. The trick here is, is at this point, until we get him low enough that he starts spamming Impact Bomber, he can choose either of the fire or the dark. We don't know which. Okay. Uh, should I keep Marvel in, or should I swap her out for somebody like Lilka? Right now. Uh, it is recommending at this point, um... Cannon? Uh, yeah, at this point, switch out, uh, it's actually recommending Tim and Marvel both out, and bring in Cannon and Brad. Okay, so... Tim out... I'm going to try and... Okay. We have a... Um, there is one other special recommendation that this makes. But yeah. I don't know if this is what we want to actually do at this moment, or if we want to save it for Anger Moa. Okay. Uh, which, what that is, is it recommends that one option you can do is have Cannon use Stero, uh, do the shoot item ability to throw Viper Fang. Do I have Viper Fang? Because you should have gotten it, yes. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, if you if you do it, and if the double damage kicks in, that's 50k. Boom. Uh, full carrot on Ashley. Uh, and you said uh, on Cannon, we want her to be on Star Row. So that's that is a, one of the recommended paths. It, uh, but it does say that you may want to use it now, or you may want to save it for Anger Moa. Okay. Because uh, that is that is twenty five to fifty k damage. Oh. Twenty five on the low end. Yeah. Uh, let's so, save let let's save that for Anger Moa. Okay. Okay. So actually, so, is otherwise going... basically what we're trying to do is get him down as fast as possible before he wakes up. Mini carrot. Uh, mini carrot. Okay, Ashley Force Charge, Cannon Smack Him, Brad Smack Him? Yep. And I know not to use uh, Fire, because that'll just heal him. Yep. So, Ashley, Full Access, Cannon, where are we at? Okay, we are not there yet, Brad, not there yet. I'm guessing for Brad, they're asking to basically um, burst Railgun. Uh, I believe so. Let me go further down. Um... And he's awake. 
Okay, so we need to swap Maravel back in and hope that she can put him back to sleep. Okay. Pulling Brad out. And yeah, it's actually recommending for Brad, it recommends using lock arm with various arms. Okay. So, Ashley didn't have anything. Uh, cannon still smack. Maravel slip. And he just black nova Uh, okay, Ashley survived. Good, 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 good. Oh, fuck. And he's asleep again. Excellent, okay. We're doing okay so far. So, back to, uh, make sure everyone's nice and healthy and get back to the DPS race. Okay, Ashley, you, you're gonna eat a Mega Berry. Brad revive poor 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 cannon okay Ashley uh, mad blue seed only uh, cannon just smack and use and they just said lock on anything yeah lock on anything well let's deplete easy oh he woke up immediately okay well that means next turn we need marvel back uh void effect okay that was that was okay oh that's that's a safe round that's a safe round Oh boy, Marvel's very low on health. Uh, cannon? Uh, Big Berry Marvel, Marvel Sleep? And Black Nova. Swapping in bread. But trying to keep. Okay, Ashley, you're going to make a berry bread. Uh, high revive Maravel. Oh, hello! One trillion degrees! Uh, there goes Ashley! And there goes Brad. Man, uh, this is sounding a bit wipey. Yeah. So, we're kind of there. I need probably several, uh, like a few more levels, at least in... Yeah, a few more levels, cap out, uh, M defend. Uh, yeah, we, we're getting close. We are, we're... If we put in the work, in the, and by we I mean you, uh, put in the work between now and next Friday, uh, there's no d no doubt that we can do it. Or, you know, conversely, what we can do is we can do what we were talking about before, swap over to the next game, yeah. and then you can turn around and uh, do the fights on in your own time and put them on YouTube. YouTube. So... Instead of trying to do shenanigans with Angle, uh, with Reg, God, Regu, let's at least show off Angle Moa. We're gonna go from Shenanigans Fighter 1 to Shenanigans Fighter 2 Ultra. Yes. So, and we need to go to Helmets, I believe. Uh, wherever go got the prison is. It's kind of close by. Okay. 
That is not Golgotha Prison. Just a little bit this way, and we have Golgotha Prison. And he's right here at the entrance. Okay, so for this party, uh, it recommends that we ha are using Ashley Brad Loka. Okay. Uh, here's the bad news. Uh, the strategy recommends having Loka equipping the Sheriff Star. <laughs> Demon King Angle Moa. <sighs> And they don't have any other strategy. Well, let's see how well Anglemoa, who's this big purple dude, uh, does again. I'm going to have Tim first aid. Uh, Marvel, let's see if sleep works. I doubt it, but. Uh, wait, we're doing Marvel? Great. We're, we're, we're just going to butt, we're going to butt this, uh, this strategy all together? Yeah. Okay, well, tell Great Disaster I said hi. We actually survived Great Disaster. Yeah, I does say that the Great Disaster is weaker than 1 trillion degrees. And But Great Disaster also has a chance to Confusa. And the only person who got confusa uh was uh, Maravel. But that's because I don't think we put anything into... Uh, some of her stats. Her confusion resistance. Yeah. Uh... Seventh Moon, I think this is the worst one. Mask of Non-Elemental. Yeah, that looks like, that sounds like that's gonna be the nastiest. And if we survive that, we get Aura Bomber next turn. Ashley survived! With 17 health. Awesome. Or a bomber, which, from the way you describe it, is an AoE of the worst type. Yep. Yeah. Uh, literally. Uh, oh no, not literally all. Uh, most uh, most attacks are uh, AoE. Okay. Uh, it does also have a fourth attack called Smithereens that is a uh, single target. I've encountered that in the wild. It is annoying as fuck. Uh, I'm going to use a Gimmel coin, but I'm not going to be saving. So, uh, let's try it with roughly the strategy that they tell us. So, we need Brad and Loka, you said? It recommends Ashley Brad Loka, yes. Uh, loadout. For Ashley Brad Loka. Actually, going down the list, I uh, recommend Shooting Star, Full Libra, Nine Lives, okay. Texas Number, Zephyr. Okay, Brad. Going down the list, recommends Omega Crush, Clear Chime, Raver Vest, Dead Heat, Don Duram. Okay, uh, sorry, Tim, you're not going to have Don Duram anymore. You're going to have, uh, Gerantos, Brad, you're not going to get Justine anymore. You're going to get Dan Diram, which, okay. Uh, and Lilka. Lilka recommends Don't Care About Weapon, Sheriff Star, Bridal Gown, Tiara, and Raptina. Raptina. Uh, sorry, Marvel, you're gonna get Justine. And uh, Raptina on Lilka. We're gonna go with a Necronomicon in place of the Sheriff's Star. And Ashley, uh, so what's the first turn supposed to be like? Uh, first turn is supposed to be Ashley Force Charge. Brad is supposed to use a slowdown crest cap, and Luca is supposed to miss a clip orb. Okay, so Brad just smacks him. Luca 
Mystic the Life Orb. She is basically just there to... She's there to, there to keep people alive, hopefully. Yeah. So, great disaster. Okay, nobody... Nobody died? Nobody died, nobody confused. Okay. So, second turn, what do they recommend? Okay, second turn uh, setup. It recommends equip Ashley with Power Boost and Brad with Talisman. Okay, Brad with Talisman, which we just got, actually. Uh, it recommends having Ashley defend, having Loka either use defend or invincible, and having Brad defend as well. So just defend this entire turn. Correct. Oh, except for Loka. Oh, uh, too late now. Well, it says Loka can defend or invincible. Invincible Seven probably... Would have been better. Seven, seventh Moon should do very little, or it should do decent damage, uh, but uh, Invincible it would have made it do no damage. Yeah, I probably should have done Invincible. So, uh, third turn setup. Third turn is Ashley should access, Brad should mini carrot Ashley, and Loka should Mystic Life Orb. Mystic. Life Orb! I, I I hate to say this, but it looks like Ankle Mo may be actually a much more easier fight. Uh, let's see how this works. Oh, oh! I should have. I. Well, there goes Ashley and Lil Cut. She... And the challenge here is that because we didn't slow down. The guide expects you to have slowed him down so that Loka can go first. Uh, I'm half tempted to erase one life cap and you uh, use it. So, ah, bread, fucking boost, railgun. See how much damage you can do, and he does a great disaster again. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Mm-hmm. Isn't that isn't that charming? Blah. So, no. So, it's a dead man's party. Okay. It's weird to say this, but I think we can take on Angle Moa easier than spaghetti sauce. With that strategy. We don't need the Sheriff Star technically for it. Well, I mean, provided that we get lucky and Loka doesn't get confused. Uh, well, remember, Lilka's... We, we've done something that the strategy guide would consider evil. And the fact that we've basically given uh, her every... Uh, like, all status effects as pretty much 99% chance to fail. Well, actually, at this point, it does recommend that you do that. Yeah. It just, it wanted you to do things in a very different order and leave that till later. Also, I'm going to swap in a teddy bear briefly on somebody to fully heal everyone up. Because the downside with uh, leveling is that people do not... Uh, Restore uh, that bonus HP. Uh, unless you take the skill for H, uh, restore HP for per level up, unless they're in a fight, they will not restore it after uh, after the fight if they're out of the party. Okay, so we're going to crest cap a slow. I mean, like, technically, I, I know strategies to basically get full heals. So, erase. 
One high revive, yes. Create. Uh, I break armor down. Slow down. There we go. We have one cap. Blah blah blah. Let's do Angle Moa again with this strategy minus the uh, Sheriff Star. Because it sounds like it's viable without it. Admiral, if we fail again, I may we may fall on the uh, backup plan, which that's going to be fun. Okay, Golgotha Prison. Okay, let's do uh, everything that we need beforehand. Okay, so Ashley had the Libra, Brad had the Clear Chime, Glok is gonna stick with her. Necro. Necro. Brad got Danti Ram. Loka got Raftina. Raftina. Um We have the Crest Cap ready. So, Ashley did the crest cap. Uh, um, no, Ashley forced charged Brad for crest cap. Ah. First turn? Yeah, turn one is Ashley forced charged Brad crest cap, Loka already mystic, uh, mystic life. Okay. Force charge, Brad. It's down at the bottom. Slow down. Wilka. Mystic. Leaf Orb. Great disaster. I'm going to do this properly in having Lilka invincible this turn. <laughs> oh, thank you, guide fuckers. Guess what? Hmm. Slow down failed. I mean, it's not guaranteed to work. Yeah. Brad, eh, Lilka invincible. Okay, I think we're in uh, a slightly better position. So, you said access this turn, Brad, Mini Carrots, Ashley, Loka, just Mystics the Life Orb again. Yep. And fucking pray. Well, since she can probably survive it this time... Well, the problem is she can survive it, but uh, it sounds like Ashley might not. Nope, Brad and Ashley died straight up. Because they Only had... Only Loka survived. Yep. Ugh. Hey, Loka, um... Maddie buddy! Sorcery, Prez, Ayak. 
okay, I think we were kind of... Oh, it turns her into a berserker. That's why. Which, unfortunately, is not a great answer when she's the only one alive. Okay, that's weird. He tried to attack her and he did zero damage to Lilka. Huh. But she died to seventh moon. Okay. I'm gonna try it again. I think it resets us to before the battle. Uh, Ashley Force Charge. Brad was supposed to basically go down and use... Slow down. Slow down. Hopefully. was to Mystic V. Lift Orb. Yep. The Orb of Leafs. Yep. Uh... Great Disaster! I mean, the good news is, if it hits, uh, it, if it hits, it stays hit. Yay. Okay. Because from what the guy advises, there's no, it eventually wears off, like if it was a Final Fantasy. That's just his new existence, is Slow Boy. It oofed. It oofed hard. Actually, uh, wait... No. What? Uh, I'm gonna do that. Have I mean, the other thing I would also mention as a possible caveat... Yeah. ...is, um, in the guide where it talks about the strategy, it actually suggests a, uh, a turn two slowdown cap as well. So if we want to try one more, one more time, we could try replacing two. Mm -hmm. Okay. And see if maybe that gives us better luck. Alright. I'm gonna try... I, I've deviated a little bit. Uh, in the fact... I mean, that, like you do. Because I basically decide to just guard with Ashley and Brad on the second turn, and we're just gonna... Mystic the Life Orb every turn. Okay. And then we'll see how this works. And we'll just hope for the fucking best. Yeah. Okay, or a bomber. Or a boomer. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, this seems to have worked. Everybody's not dead. Okay, that's that's a good that's a good start. I mean, we're now going a little rogue, so from here, I mean, basically the kind of the million dollar point from here is don't die, do lots of damage. At this point, the uh, the what he does next becomes random. Okay. I am going to try and do slow down with... Uh, with the Lilka already. Because she has the ability. Ah, okay. Since it is one of her spells that we are using. Yeah. We're just doing it in such a way that we can keep her, um... Oh, hey! ...spamming heals. Void effect! Ha-ha-ha! <laughs> I haven't buffed anybody! Nice, we got a free turn! This helps me in the long run, beesh! Uh, one thing I do want to advise that it does say here is that, um, the oh. void effect does also cancel any parameter ups. Oh, no, I knew what it was. It's basically a dispel. 
And we got a hit with slowdown, which that's nice. Nice. Uh, I'm guessing do not use gunblaze or use gunblaze. I'm a burr, 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 burr. Uh, it says weakness none, but it doesn't say anything about absorption, so... Oh. I don't think the gunblade should be an issue. Ah, oh, fuck, you... I forgot to swap out full, uh, the power boost for full Libra. Fuck. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna put gauntlets on Brad. Shit. <laughs> that means we're a little bit hampered with, uh, Ashley. Uh, what is the strategy for Brad in this fight? Um, let me see the overall strategy. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Brad, actually, it does mention have Ashley Mad Lucy. Oh, uh, man. Brad should boosted railgun. Okay, boost. Railgun. Oh, and it. It does say that gun, uh, that Angle Maw does um, have elementals. That's why it recommends okay. Mad Lucy. Okay. I didn't get far enough in the guide. I'm going to armor down. <laughs> that does sound like a good idea. Uh, let's see. Uh, if Loka is under 2800, she should invincible in case of Seventh Moon. Um. Uh, you will need to take that risks miss. with her. Um, she's going to need to Mystic Life Orb whenever possible, really. Okay. Regeneration. And actually, now that now that she's oh yeah, and he's going to do that every so often. Uh, ah. Which that heals him for a fuck of a lot. Yeah. Red smack it, uh, Lilka. Armor down this, yeah, uh, but... Oh! Yeah. Um... Where is it? Basically, he healed uh, all three Mad Blue seats that we did to him. Yeah. Okay, so let me see. So, now, if you haven't gotten this pattern yet, here it is in stone. Using this strategy, Ashley will be dealing the majority of the damage in this fight with Mad Blue seats and last bursts. That's why he has power boost. Brad's only there to field, uh, feed Ashley and Loka mini carrots, then boost arm Angle Maw when he gets to 100. Loka's job is to heal everyone. Okay. Brad just got hit by Smithereens. So he's defending. Loka is going to do high heal on him. And then on turns when Ashley is at 99 or 100, last burst. Uh, you're gonna have Ashley last burst, Brad mini carrot Ashley, Loka Mr. Clyde for, um, and then when he transforms back, he should be at 50 uh, FP, uh, and then you uh, get everyone kind of back to full, get Ashley back up and running again. Or a and that'll be a good time to switch him back to his okay. power boost. Okay, Mad Lucy, Brad is gonna smack, Loka is gonna Mystic, our good buddy the Leaf Orb. Which we might actually have a chance this time. And if I'm reading this right, I think it said um, he should be invincible, or not invincible, and he should be healing himself uh, roughly every half dozen turns, if okay. I'm reading this right. Ah, sweet. Th yeah, that slowdown from Lilka was much appreciated. Okay, so I feel like that's going to probably be a key if we go back to Spaghetti again. Yeah. And we have Great Disorster, which means Lilk is going to be Lifing Orb again. Okay, Brad. Which now that she's faster than uh, Angle Moa, uh, that's actually really helpful. Yeah. Really helpful. Sometimes you kind of have to do little shenanigans to keep up with the thing. Mm hmm But, like, having everybody... Like, having Lilka uh, invincible 
on the one turn and then life orb to the point where it starts doing the random attacks is pro uh, basically after the first pattern breaks through we can then move on to doing like when we got that break with him just voiding out boosts and stuff it's like that that can be helpful oh hey seventh moon But Well, uh, we will get to see last burst. Uh, red. <laughs> and we failed. We failed hard. Yeah, yeah. That said, though, that does tell us that with a few more levels under our belt, this is probably going to be a thing we can do as well. Oh, right. That's why I didn't like using Last Burst. Because it bursts his uh, FP and his HP? Yeah. Well, and we that's are... why it recommends to do what it says to do. And we are fooked. Because it killed Lilka outright. And... Mm. Oh, boy. Invincible. Oh, hey, Seventh Moon. And because Lilka's uh, invincible lane. Uh, yeah, this fight is turning into, like, I really should just let Lilka go. Five, Ashley? Just to watch him die again? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's exactly what that would be. Yeah. Great disaster. Yeah, nobody's going to live through this. Oh, hey. Ashley did live. Um, Horus Charge. Lilka is actually going to Mystic a full revive. Because oh, nice. remember how those things work. It'll heal her in addition to healing anyone else who is alive and restoring at full anyone who isn't. Yeah. And we kind of got a free turn by him doing regeneration, but ugh. That's... That's annoying. Red. Uh, Lilka, how about you eat a mini carrot? A little bit? Get the teeny bit? Just a quick little nibble. The tiny nibble. Nom noms. Ooh! Um, ugh, 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 just ugh. Fuck it. Nope, Brad, sky eye it. I, I don't care at this point. Oh, hey, we never got to show this off. Sky eye! A literal satellite cannon. <laughs> uh, void of... Oh, my God. Okay, do we want to do... Uh, Regu shenanigans one more or not? Let's try one more Regu shenanigans. Let's go ahead and do what it recommends of swapping out uh, fully for slowdowns and see how it works. Yeah. Well, let 
said to save red, I have to let you die on this one. No, we are not using a gimbal coin. Okay, so let's get that crest cap done first. Level two, race, hide revive, create, crest cap, slow down. Okay. You know what? I'm going to sleep at the inn and I don't care about my luck at this point because I don't need it, really. Uh, I would disagree. Admittedly, I do. Uh, if you're trying, if, if we're trying for um, for uh, spaghetti again, uh, we need we need some luck on Marvel. We need uh, some bestest luck on Marvel. Well, she was at for... worst. Oh, she's gotten up to bed. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so we need to get her up to bestus because that's going to help with um, sleep. Yeah. So let's let's spend the night until Marvel gets best luck. <laughs> uh. If I recall, the teddy bear basically locks things in place. She's at normal. that good if she gets best we're going ah shit she dropped down to bad if we get good I'm we're just gonna go And now she's back at worst. Okay, I'm gonna see if my idea of it, like my idea of what the actual teddy bear did is correct, uh, is correct or not. So she's at bad. I'm gonna do a status check on everybody. Ashley's a good, Tim's at bad, Marvel's a bad, Fred's a bad, Luke is at normal, Cannon's at bad. And if people are like, well, you're wasting money, it's like, do you see how much Gela I have? It's true. It's just a disgusting amount of Gela. Okay, status. Bad. Good, normal, 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 worst. Okay. It does not lock it in place. So it may actually be keeping her in better condition. Bad. Tim's at best. Marvel's at normal. Brad's at good. Luke is at normal. Can't at normal. Okay. Ashley good, Tim good, Marvel's good, Brad's at best, 
Look, is it good? Can's it bad? I'd say that's good enough. Again. Uh, also some prep work. What does it recommend everybody have for Ragu? Uh, let me go back to Rag... <coughs> Pardon. Ragu... Sorry about that, bit of a coughing attack. Yeah. Oh no, this guy's suicide. Alright. So, the recommendation is we are going to start with... Uh, why can I not find it all of a sudden? What? Come on. Stupid eyes. Um, start with Ashley, Tim, Marvel, everyone with fire rings. Okay. Nothing. Ashley is going to use slow down crest. Uh, Tim is going to first aid. Marvel's going to attempt sleep. And nothing else uh, recommended uh, for equipment loadouts. No, that's that's the entire recommendation list. Okay. Yep. I'm just kind of pissed that Angle Moa is so deep in here, that's the problem. Not Angle Moa, um, Ragu. R Ragu. In order to get to Regu, I have to literally go through most of the dungeon. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Prince again. We meet. Spaghetti monster. Okay. Ashley was going to do the 
you. Slow down. Tim was first aiding. Uh, Marvel was going to sleep. Yep. One trillion degrees. Earth. Miss. The slow down huh? missed or the sleep missed? The slew had missed. But the sleep had hit. Excellent. Okay, that changes plans. Okay. Uh, that gives us a different plan for round two. Uh, give me a sec, give me a sec. Okay. All right. So, new round two strat. If sleep does hit, uh, switch Tim out and Tim and Marvel out for Cannon and Brad. Give Ashley the fire ring and power burst. Uh, we were not going to use uh, Star Row or Star Row here. Or I guess we can give Cannon Star Row, but we're not going to do the throw. At least not that throw. Okay. Not the big boy throw. Um. Okay, so... Ashley should be at... Is Ashley at 100? He should be, right? He's at 91. Okay, so we're gonna force E. Okay, force charge. Cannon is going to shoot item. What we fire in? Uh, not the Viper Fang, because we're saving that for... Uh, we're saving that for Biggin. Okay. Um... Whatever the next big one is, I presume. Spoon! And Brad is going to do some, uh, some hopefully potent uh, lock-ons. Lock-on, uh, easy missile. Easy bake, uh, easy bake oven missile. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Easy bake oven missile. Yeah. The spoon did a thousand damage. Oh, uh, I mean, it's still a thousand more damage than we had done previously. Yeah. Okay, Ashley's now at a thousand. He is still asleep. You mean a hundred? Yeah. Access? Okay. Uh, yes, we are going to go ahead and access. Uh, since we're accessing, we're probably going to want to have... Oh, let's have Brad uh, force feed him a carrot. Okay. Uh, for cannon, what does cannon do? Uh, what's cannon at? Uh, 64. Uh, That's mm. less than our kick, but one. Uh, but we can do wire fist. Um, have her eat a mini carrot so we can get up further. Okay, mini carrot, Brad. Mini carrot, Ashley. Eighty-nine for Cannon. Okay, that's uh, that's still that's uh, still better than she was. We're probably gonna want to do one more mini carrot. Okay. Because ideally we want to get her all the way up. Okay. Meanwhile, Actually, obviously we're gonna do some uh, some maddening lucid. Mad lucid. Cannon is going to eat one more mini. Uh, bread. His recommended role uh, is lock on with whatever's as powerful as can be. Uh, in this case, Sky Eye is our next best bet. Uh, well, actually, no. Let's try the mini Scud. And 2400. And he's awake. All right, so we're gonna want to give me a second. Where is uh, when he wakes up, when he wakes up, when he wakes up, when he wakes up? 
because I know we haven't done enough. Um, I know we haven't done enough uh, to get him to 25k or, late, or lower. I'm actually tempted to put uh, Dark Rings. Oh, we can't on Ashley. Nope. Okay. Ashley has to hang out with his Fire Ring because he already has it equipped. Dark ring on Tim, dark ring on Marvel. Yeah, it's gonna be one of the two. We don't know which of the two, but it's gonna be one of the two. Have Marvel try and put and knock him back out. Ashley, Mad Lucy again. Tim, you're going to first aid. Uh, Marvel, do a nice bit of sleepy buys. Okay, he does void effect. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's good. Now, as long as he passes out before before he gets another turn. I think Tim can do slowdown. Yeah, Tim does have a slowdown. Okay, uh, if he passes out, I'm going to keep Tim in there to, sl uh, to slow him down. And then swap in somebody. Uh, okay, he missed. 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 Uh, Tim, slow down, uh, slow him down, speed down, but, uh, Marvel keep sleeping him, oh, <laughs> oh, no, Marvel down. That is concerning, because that means we lose our sleeper. And Tim speed down. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna try the try a high revive on Marvel. And there goes Brack Nova. Tim should survive. Ashley barely. Um, but Marvel will be up and running, kind of. Uh, Tim can definitely do a first aid, but I'm not sure if it's going to do enough. Uh, Marvel smack him once. And there goes Black Nova. By Ashley, by Tim. Marvel barely survives. Counter attack. Miss. Marvel, sleep him? I don't know. Okay. Nope. That did not work. I don't know why it says the crest caps. We're. In, uh, I'm gonna try a gimmel coin one more time. See if, see if we get it to work. So, Ashley, do the. Slow down, Tim. You said first aid. Marvel does sleep. Yep. And it misses. And we're fucked anyway. Uh, so... Sleep Mist, uh, in this case, you said keep Ashley on the fire ring. Tim gets moved over to the Dark Ring. Marvel. Yeah, the other two get moved to Dark Ring, and we try... Okay, so if it, if it's misses... Um, Dark Ring's on Tim Marvel, Fire Ring says on Ashley. Ashley Mega Berries, Tim First Aids, Marvel should go for a second sleep attempt. Okay. I did something slightly different. I had oh. Ashley Guard. Okay. Oh, that's right. Last time when you got a good bit, a good chunk of progress, 
you ended up going off script on round two, and it ended up working pretty well. Yeah. For a little while. So, because it's working off the assumption that we have chunks of uh, HP. Um, so, in this case, sleep did not go off this time. N uh, so, continue with strategy, or what next, too? Uh, guide at this point says restart, so... <laughs> Fuck it, full access at uh, first aid, Marvel just fucking sleep him. Because Guy essentially says at this point, if you didn't sleep in the first time, you didn't sleep in the second time, A, you had some pretty bad luck, and B, at this point it goes random, and without being able to sleep him and control him that way, you're in for a shit show no matter what. Uh, Alright. Well... Okay, Smithereens failed. Smack him. Yeah, he basically did one trillion degrees after that one. Well, like I said, it's gonna be one of the two. Well, since we failed two times in various versions, uh, do you want to try and see what the, uh, extra bit I did prepare for, just as a uh, prep work. Yeah, we can switch over to the extra bit. Okay. So, getting that briefly loaded up. It should only take a few moments. Do 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 do. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and trash down that because we're not gonna be using that guy anymore tonight. And so, just to show off a little bit of probably the game that I got forced into for my <laughs> next game <laughs> is, as some people can probably tell by the music, Wild Arms 3. So... It is a PS2 game, so it has that bit of PS2 drink to it. But it's it's weird because it seems to be running a bit better than the PS1 emulator of all things. Tiny bit of better. I will not be trying to do voices for this one because God is the cast for Wild Arms 3 extensive. Okay, getting a definite bit of slowdown. That might be due to OBS actually. Oh. Admittedly, by the time I actually get around to doing Wild Arms 3, I will be on a different computer, which can easily handle this a bit better. Yeah, we're going to have some different time in between yeah. uh, here and there. But uh, meet one of our protagonists, this, this girl in a purple dress. And yes, there are trains here. Trains. Uh, and I'm not sure if it shows up on the stream very well, but there is this weird scratchy overlay over everything. Uh, and yes, this is a cel-shaded game. And it's the jank way that they did cel-shading, which is this weird slightly larger model that's 
uh, black on the inside, but see-through from the outside. So everything does get a black overlay. But you can still see the character model inside of it. And we actually get to meet this game's Tony very immediately. Uh, also, right now what's happening is all automatic. I am not pressing buttons. But basically, low down what's happening is our main girl here is... Uh, trying to figure out what's happening with the train. Obviously, this is a Wild West setting, which means the train is being robbed. Miss, this curse off limits. But they're basically discussing, like, hey, there's something important there. What the heck is going on? Why is the car... I hate this part. Uh, this is one of the reasons why I dislike the intro to Wild Arms 3 is the fact that it is all automatic. You can't control what they say, it just goes. <laughs> so sometimes it pops up fairly quickly, sometimes it goes away fair, uh, fairly slowly. Uh, Tony here uh, was basically the one in charge of the, uh, essentially the storage compartment uh, cabin. And somebody got in by picking the lock. Because apparently they're transporting something fairly dangerous. Or at least fairly valuable. And they're just going to go check up on this giant huge chest in the middle of the cabin to see it's all right. And we get some Pulp Fiction kind of BS with the factor of, like, open the chest. Glowy lights from the chest. And three people bust in, and we get an immediate uh, Mexican standoff. So, unlike any of the previous Wild Arms, we actually have four protagonists this time. We have the girl in first class, which is obviously the starter character. A suspicious intruder. Uh, a boy who broke in. And a drifter guardsman. So, since I'm not really going to go delve too much into it, I'm going to do Girl in First Class, whose name is Virginia. Oh, we're going to meet Virginia? We're going to meet Virginia. Two weeks before the fateful encounter, a.k.a. the Mexican standoff... Virginia Maxwell, age 18. Her life in the village where she had always been graced with peace and tranquility. Ruined by gobs. Basically, village got attacked by demi-humans from a neighboring settlement. And basically, her peaceful life pretty much ended that day. God, what are you doing, PSX? Struggling from the sounds of it. Yeah, I'm going to do one extra thing on this one. Goodbye, Chrome, because I don't think you're... I, I think you're taking up too much stuff. I mean, that is kind of Chrome's job. Yeah. Pick up far more resources than it needs to. Okay, kicked off Chrome. Im improved a little bit? Decently? We're, we're now moving at a decent speed? Uh, and so we have Tesla here. Not Nikola Tesla, Tesla Maxwell. Technically, uh, Virginia's uncle. And this is a feature that they, like, I found, but it does nothing, is the fact that if you press select, 
you can see the character portraits without the uh, light brown veneer on top of it, which actually kind of discolors everything. Er, you've taken everything we have. I ask you leave here at once and leave us in peace. Uncle Tesla! Gob gob. Tough words from loser. Me teach you lesson. Might is right. So you're wrong, and me am right. Me am right, so me am cool. Gab gab. What a lovely conversation was. Gab gab. Me am strong, so always hungry. So me come here for food. Flat as rule, and me am cool. Gab gab. Gab gab. You are uncool, so you feed me and buddies. That is new rule that me decide. Gab gab. Feed you? We can't afford to do that. We'd all... Headbutt. Gab gab? Tastes good? We get full quickly. You have no food, Dan. Eat some of that. Gab gab. Also, he has such a maniacal grin that we only see here in his portrait. And no, we will not be keeping this for when I start uh, the actual playthrough. Well, I mean, you did establish that that is going to be on a different computer, so... Yeah. Yeah, that seems pretty obvious. I'm alright. Don't, don't worry about me. Everyone's safe. That's all that matters. V Virginia? Where's Virginia? Hello, Armengard! We will never see you for a while. Never for a while, huh? Uh, it's weird to describe when you finally meet her, and... She has a weird... Not gimmick, but just a weird... Well, it technically is a gimmick because it involves the PS2's uh, internal clock. And it's really only like it's something you can't do but basically she will have a quote every day of the week for a full year they put in that many lines for her yikes rusty hinges great now they probably know I'm here but And Virginia has an arm. There's no turning back now. I've got to push ahead and prove myself. It's time to fly. Get used to that with Virginia. It is literally the friendship speech of Virginia is I need to fly. Oof. <laughs> so. This is Wild Arms 3. Uh, it is PS1 jank. It, it, not PS1 jank. It is PS2 jank. And as you can see, we have most of the same stats. ATT, Defense, Mag, MGR, RFX, Aim, and EVA. RFX is basically Pry. Uh, also, as you can see, her, she, uh, instead of weapons, everybody is immediately equipped with an arm. Virginia is unique Ooh. in the fact that she has two. The Rapier EZ and the Bantorain 93R. Uh, it's actually implied that the uh, uh, Rapier EZ is the bigger of the two, whereas the Bantorain is the smaller pistol. You can actually see it in her profile, is the fact that the Rapier Easy is supposed to be the one that she's holding above her head, whereas the, ban uh, actually the, 
it, I could have actually have it backwards where it's the rapier is the smaller of the two, whereas the banterrain is the bigger. Uh, personal skills do make a return, but not in the way that you'd think, and we don't have access to them for a good chunk. Arcana, spells. And instead of uh, equipment that we equip to the weapons, everybody has an arm. Instead, we upgrade said arms. Uh, so we have five stats, shot, bullet, crit, weight, and hit. I'm not going to go into it right now because I'm just being shenanigans through here. Yeah. Oh no! But this is the new battle system, and dear god do I hate it. So, uh, instead of having like traditional RPG where one side uh, attacks the other in kind of a Final Fantasy thing, you now have a 3D arena that you don't control the characters in, they just ran uh, randomly run around in it action-wise. Now, that doesn't sound too bad, but there might have been at one point during the development of basically uh, allowing you to control where characters would aim in a fight. As there are spells that do AoE type stuff, and since you can't control characters in a fight, uh, you can't tell if somebody's going to be in one or out of an AoE. Uh, also, if you saw very briefly, we now have a number of bullets that we can fire. As a heads up, uh... The experience works a little bit different in the fact that we have EXP, Gela, and then an EXP bonus rate. I'm not going to explain this right now. I actually should probably stop talking or explain anything since we're not getting into it right now. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go deeper into it um, when it's actually time for the game. But, like all wild arms, we can pick up boxes. Rawr. Pick up the box, Virginia. Tools make a return. Uh, Virginia gets the Tinder Crest. You can probably guess what it is. It is literally Lilka's Fire Rod. Um, essentially, they kind of changed... Uh, crests into basically being uh, Virginia's thing where you tell him to toss out this fire card these books will explain a few things but we're not doing any of that oh no only one of the two torches lit I wonder how we solve this also we can see our Gela and actual time in the corner of the screen and yes her thing is very tutorial heavy mm. oh look more gaps and if you notice uh okay uh we're not at a level that it's noticeable yet but uh fp will always start at one because they kind of, uh, uh, Media Vision did learn a bit of the factor of how broken having a full FP bar or having the ability to basically pull out a Guardian at, the, uh, at turn one can be. 
So characters will always start at one FP. Um, but they decide to uh, make a interesting change in the fact that we have that vit bar that you've probably been seeing. Mm-hmm. Uh, that vit is actually heal after battle. Oh, nice. So you don't have to take a special thing to do it. It automatically does yes. based on that vit bar. The problem with it is, as you notice, it goes down. So how do you restore it? Uh, gems will now restore, uh, there will be two types of gems now. One will be for Vit, the other one will be for Health. So you have to collect gems to restore it. There, there is an item that you can get that also restores it. Um... And I think that's enough uh, for that for now. I'm not going to go too deep into it because that's... Bleh. But we'll, uh, I'll, I'll go delve more deep into it when we get around to three. Uh, we may also have a returning member, or at least a uh, shadow member, uh, return to help us out with dealing with Virginia's I must fly like a bird speech with her own um, friendship speeches of her own. Oh. <laughs> uh, but I will do some grinding and more than likely either try and do an off stream, like un, uh, possibly like since we are not going to be streaming nor uh, like Eddie is not going to be available for this Saturday or Monday. I may take over tomorrow to show off some end game content for Final Fantasy 14. Um, Michael is willing to join me because, well, it's going to be doing stuff like weapons and showing off some of the story of, uh, Shadowbringers, or at least the post-game story, which will be weird for people. Yeah, because it is going to be a bit of a jump from where we are right now. <laughs> uh, but, uh, as such, um, for everybody, uh, thanks for joining us. Um, sorry to say, we I wasn't able to defeat Ragu or Anglemoa. I'm Kind of glad I got to show off Hill Conton uh, slash Creeping Chaos because he's always been a thorn in my side because Arc NCL is the worst ability ever. It is in the same league as Bad Breath. Which... <laughs> that, that, that's a universal... Uh, shudder. But the only time I do not hate bad breath is on my blue mage. My blue mage likes bad breath. Yeah. Um. But uh, because since I'm going to be doing that off stream or as a uh, side stream, uh, like maybe next Saturday, uh, I will have ground enough to get my characters so that they can easily survive stuff from them. Just to show it off, because uh, Eddie has stated that there is going to be some some parts that he will not be available for, and as such, I can fill in the void with technically whatever I feel like, even if it is nada. So, yeah. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I am definitely going to attempt to do some streaming. Uh, I will recruit the likes of Michael at least doing my end game content because I think he, uh, I'm pretty sure he wants to at least attempt to look at things like Emerald, Ruby, and Diamond Weaponed. Uh, maybe. 
Um, I mean, if I'm being recruited for stream, I suppose I have no choice. Yeah. Sad to say, I can't recruit any of the other regulars because... Because they don't have access to it. Nobody has access to it. I may have to recruit a off uh, member, but it is what it is. Um, other than that, uh, thanks for joining. Uh, as for other things, I don't... Uh, there should actually... I do apologize. I did double check and somehow I set the timer for this Sunday and not just immediately publishing. I don't know how I did that for a front row perspective. So this Sunday, the one that we've been talking about for the last three weeks is finally coming out? Yes. Because, <laughs> like, I uploaded it and then it's like, okay, published, done, moving on. And then it's like... Hey, why did I see a notification? Oh, because I set it on a time. Why did I set it on a timer? <laughs> but there should be a front row perspective coming out. Uh, there's no front row weekly. Uh, as for and this is all podcast stuff, so you can listen to this on any of your uh, major podcasting. So that's Apple, Google, Spootfy. Um, if always spoot fee. Always spoot fee. Uh, if you liked what you saw here, or if you like what you listen to on the podcast, uh, the best way to support us is let other people know. Spread the word. But if you're a much more I want to directly contribute, um, we do have, of course, have Patreon, uh, the subscribable points here on Twitch, and... Uh, Red Bubble, which I am trying to figure out how to do, but he's just a boy. He's just a boy. Which is ironic because we're pretty much at the end of Wild Arms Two, which is where it's from. <laughs> and that was fairly early on in the th in that one. We might we might we might we might try and keep uh, uh, keep it going forward into. Um, Future games. Future games. In some fashion. <laughs> um, as for... Uh, other things, uh, like, if you want to keep up to, uh, up to date on statuses, like, uh, we do have all forms of major social media. That's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook... Uh, as stated, uh, most of our streams are u archived on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Depending on how it goes, I may turn into the Angle Moa and Ragu fight may just be YouTube only. So keep an eye out on that. Uh, but uh, starting next week, I am going to be stepping down from the driver's seat and letting Fates slash Michael here take over and play... Uh, your second favorite Final Fantasy. Indeed. And that would be Final Fantasy IX. That is very true. But until then, everybody, uh, good night, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye.